Nate the Great and the Missing Key Marjorie Raymond Sherwood I, Nate the Great, am a detective. I am not afraid of anything, except for one thing. Today I am going to a birthday party for the one thing I am afraid of. Any dog fan. This morning, my dog Sludge and I were getting ready for the party. The doorbell rang. I opened the door. Annie and Fang were standing there. Fang looked bigger than ever, so did his teeth. But he looked like a birthday dog. He was wearing a stupid sweater and a nude collar. I need help, Annie said. I can't find the key to my house, so I can't get inside to have the birthday party for Fang. I made the great was sorry about the key and glad about the party. I said, tell me about your key. Well, Annie said, the last time I saw it was when I went out to get Fang a birthday surprise to eat. To eat? I said, yes, Annie said. Some surprise food is the one present I had forgotten to buy. I got Fang lots of presents, a striped sweater, and a new color with a license number, a name tag, a little silver dog dish, and a little silver bone to hang from the color. See how pretty Fang looks and hear how nicely he jingles. I, Nate the Great, did not want to look at Fang or listen to him. Tell me more, I said. Well, Rosamond and her four cats were at my house, Annie said. She was helping me get ready for the party. When I went to the store, I left Rosamond and the cats in my house. I left Fang in the yard. I left the key to my house on the table. That is the last time I saw the key. When I got back, Fang was still in the yard. But the house was locked, and Rosamond and her cats were gone. Rosamond left his note stuck to my front door. Your key can be found at a place that is round, a place that is safe, and where things are shiny. A place that is big because it's not tiny. And this is a poem. And I went home. That is strange poem, I said. Sometimes Rosamond is strange, and he said, I, Nate the Great, already knew that. You must go to Rosamond's house and ask her where she put your key, I said. I went to her house, and he said, but it was locked too. I rang the bell, but no one was home. This is a big day for Rosamond and a locked doors, I said. Who else has a key to your house? My mother and father. They, but they went out for the day. They don't like dog parties, Annie said. I, Nate the Great, knew that dog parties are very easy not to like. But I said, I will take your case. I wrote a note to my mother. Dear mother, I am on a case. I am looking for a round, safe, shiny, big place. I do not know where or what a round, safe, shiny, big place is. But when I find it, I will be back. Love, Nate the Great. Annie, Fang, Sludge, and I went to Annie's house. What does your key look like? I asked. It is silver and shiny, Annie said. Sludge and I looked around. There were many places to leave a key. Under Annie's doormat, in her flower garden, up her drain pipe, in her mailbox. But they were not round, safe, shiny and big. 
I'll have to look in other places, I said. Fang and I will wait for you here, Annie said. I, Nate the Great, was glad to hear that. Sludge and I went to Oliver's house. Oliver is a pest. But I had a case to solve. I had a job to do. I knew that Oliver collects giant things, like tin cans, safety pins, badges, poison ivy, and pictures of the sun. Each week, he collects one new shiny thing. Perhaps this week, it was a key. Did Rosamond leave a shiny key with you in a big, round, safe place? I asked. No, Oliver said. This is not my key week. This is my week for shiny ears. Would you like to see my new ear? I, Nate the Great, did not want to see a new ear or an old ear. I started to leave. May I follow you? Oliver asked. No, I said. I will help you to look for the key, Oliver said. All right, I said. When I go east, you go west. When I go south, you go north. But we won't be together, Oliver said. Exactly, I said. Sludge and I left Oliver's house. I did not look back. I knew what I would see. Oliver. I, Nate the Great, was busy thinking and looking. All at once, I saw a big safe place, a bank. I knew there were many round shiny things in a bank. Like pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters. Sludge and I walked inside. Oliver followed us. Sludge and I looked on the desk and behind counters. Then we crawled on the floor. If Rosamond had been here, there would be cat hairs all over the floor. I saw paper clips and a broken pen and a penny and mud and a bank guard. First his feet, then the rest of him. Do you want to make a deposit? He asked. I Nate the Great wished I could deposit Oliver in the bank. I said, Did anyone strange with four cash leave a key here? The guard pointed to the door. Sludge and I left. Now I Nate the Great knew where I should not look for the key. A bank was not a strange enough place for a strange person like Rosamond to leave a key. I had to think of a strange place. I thought of a kitchen with bottles of syrup, hunks of butter, and stacks of pancakes. It was not a strange place, but it was a good place to think of because I, Nate the Great, was hungry. It was time for lunch. Sludge and I started for home. I felt something breathing on the back of my neck. I turned around. It was Oliver. I will follow you forever, Oliver said. I, Nate the Great, knew that forever was far too long to be followed by Oliver. Sludge and I started to run. We ran down the street, up a hill, around five corners, and into an alley. We lost Oliver. I sat down to rest beside a garbage can. Sludge sniffed it. Sludge likes garbage cans. I stared at the can. I had an idea. A garbage can would be a perfect place for a Rosamond to hide a key. It was a big and round and shiny with a shiny cover and shiny handles. It was safe because no one would look inside a garbage can except sludge. And it was a very strange place for a key. Strange enough for Rosamond. There were not many places like that. Now, I Nate the Great knew that I had to look in and his garbage can. Sludge and I walked the garbage can behind Annie's house. We bent low. I did not want Annie to see me until I found the key in her garbage can. 
then I would surprise her. I tried to pull up the cover. Sludge tried to push up the cover with his nose. I pulled harder. Sludge pushed it harder. The cover came off. We looked inside the can. It was empty. I ate the grape, had not thrown the case. Sludge and I slunk home. I was very hungry. I gave Sludge a bone. I made many pancakes. I sat down to eat them. But I did not have a fork. I opened a drawer. It was full of spoons and knives and forks all together in a shiny silver pile. I had to pick up many spoons and knives before I found a fork. It is hard to find something silver and shiny when it is mixed in with other things that are silver and shiny. I later thought about that. Maybe Annie's kiss was some place where nobody would see it because it was with other shiny silver things. A strange place, a round place, a big place, a safe place. Place. And now I, Nate the Great, knew the place. Sludge and I went back to Annie's house. Annie was sitting in front with Fang. She looked sad. Fang looked big. I ran up to Annie. I know where your key is, I said. Where? Annie asked. Look at Fang's color, I said. Annie looked. I see Fang's name tag hanging from his collar, she said, and his license, and his silver dog dish, and his silver bone, and my key. Yes, I said. I made the race say that Rosamond hung your key from Fang's collar. We did not notice it because there were other silver things there. But why did Rosamond hang it there? Annie asked. Well, it is a very strange place, I said, and remember Rosamond's poem. A round place, a big and safe place, where things are shiny. Where Fang's color is round, the things hanging from it are shiny. Fang is big and safe. There is no place more safe to leave a key than a few inches from Fang's teeth. No one would try to take off that key, including me. I started to leave. Wait, Annie said. She took the key from Fang's collar. Now I can have my party and you can come. I made the great was glad for Annie and sorry for me. Just then, Rosamond and her four cats came up the walk. You found the key, she said. I knew I left it in the perfect place. I named the great, had many things to say in Rosamond, but the party was starting. Annie unlocked the door. We all went inside. We sat around the birthday table. Annie gave me the seat of honor because I had served the case. It was next to Fang. I made the great, hoped it would be a very short party. The end. Nate the great and the missing key.